Hey guys, I'm Magdalena from Roberti Magdalena and today I'm going to give you eight tips <laughs> to give you eight tips how to become a better leader and what I as a follower expect from a good leader. So let's go. So my first tip is start slowly. I think it's super important to understand with who you are dancing, maybe to understand what is the level of the partner you're dancing with and to get a good connection to have a nice dance you both can enjoy. So my second tip is only lead things you really know how to lead, especially if we don't know each other. If we have already danced so many times and we know each other and you know my skills, I know your skills and you want to try something new, that's totally fine. But if that is not the case, please don't try to impress by leading some super special drops. This is really not what we want and for safety reasons I really recommend not to do that. This brings me to the third tip, understand the follower's situation. The follower is giving up control to the leader and you decide what the other person is going to do. So I think you should be careful with what you want the other person to do and especially to understand where the follower can go physically. Every person is different, they have a different flexibility and different strength. Maybe they cannot stay down for one minute and doing isolations. So please be careful with the follower and understand where they can go and want to go with you. Four, don't touch the follower. Please just don't. The dance is not about touching, it's not about flirting, it's about dancing, it's about enjoying the music together. In bachata there are some figures you lead with the face, so you touch the follower's face Please don't do that with someone you don't know. I think it's just a part of being respectful on the street if you get to know someone you won't touch their face either. So the next tip is please don't stare at me. This will make me feel awkward, it will make the situation weird, I don't know. You don't need to analyze me during the dance, you will know if I enjoy or not. So don't do that, please. <laughs> so let us get to the next tip. Don't teach me during the dance. You can rather repeat the figure and try if it works out the next time. Maybe I don't know the figure and the next time I will understand what I have to do. So the next tip is please give me some space to dance and make my styling. I love dancing, that's why I'm there. I, I really enjoy following, but I'm not made to follow you only. I want to have a little space sometimes just to do my own styling, put my own personality to the dance and yes, please give me some space sometimes. Last but not least, please dance. There are so many leaders who just lead and don't dance Please have fun and show us that you are enjoying the dance as well and not only leading me to the music. This will make the dance so much more fun for the leader and the follower. It's not about impressing or dancing perfectly, it's just to enjoy. So guys, I hope you found these tips helpful and there was at least one thing that will help you to improve your dance on the dance floor. Make sure to like the video and let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure to subscribe and keep practicing. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!